Okay, we're going to make the prime number application. So this is the design view that you guys have created. And we'll go over to our code window. And uh, here we go, here we go. Let me hang on a second there. Okay, um, we're going to insert a button click for our button. Uh, I call it calculate prime. Um, I'm going to make our variables here. Um, so let's see, we're going to go dim uh, user num as integer. And we're going to get the value of that from the text box. So txt user num dot text. Um, because we're uh, checking prime numbers here, um, we're going to use a method that involves just using a divisor. So we're going to be doing a loop. And we're going to start our divisor at 1. And we're going to be incrementing it by 1 every time. And we're going to be checking to see if it divides the user num evenly at any point. Okay, so we'll call it divisor. And we will start the value at 1. Um, let's see. Right off the hop, we're just going to check and make sure the user enters a number that's bigger than 1. So we're going to check user num to make sure it's bigger than 1. Okay, so um, if the user num is less than or equal to 1, then we're just going to display a message in our um, LBL response dot text just saying, like, you know, please enter a number bigger than 1. So we're going to start worrying about stuff like that. Like now that we're now that we're doing loops, we're going to start, you know, checking to make sure that they're entering what we're expecting them to enter, kind of thing. Um, else, um, we will check to see if the number is prime. All right. Now to do this, we're going to use a do loop while. Okay. So remember, it's going to execute once. So no matter what, it's going to execute at least one time. And that's why I started the divisor at 1. Because when I do my do uh, loop while, my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increment the divisor by 1. right? So when we're checking prime numbers, we know that 1 and the number itself are going to divide it. So we really want to start checking on 2. Right, so for example, if I'm entering, it, if I enter in the number five, I know it's prime. But the idea is, I'm going to see if two divides five evenly, if three divides five evenly, if four divides five evenly. If I get to the number five and I exit my loop, then I know that the number was prime. Okay, so that's going to be the condition for my loop. So I'm going to add the add the while. So I'm going to say do this while the user num um, mod divisor um, does not equal 0. Right? So it's going to execute this while this condition is true. So let's go back to our example of 5. Right? So the first time, the divisor will be 2. So 5 is not, does not equal 0 when you try to mod it by the divisor. Right? You, get, you get 1. So then it's going to loop again. It's going to try 3. Um, 5 mod 3 is also going to give you a remainder. It's going to give you a remainder of 2. So it's going to loop again. When you get to 4, it's going to give you a remainder of um, 1. And then when you get to 5, you'll finally get a remainder of 0. right? But if you, reach the, the, if you reach the user number, if you reach 5, that means that you ran through every single number and never once got it to divide evenly, which means the number is prime. Okay, So we're going to have an if statement that interprets our results. So we're going to say, if the divisor equals the user num, then the number is prime, right? We ran through every possibility and nothing worked until we got to the actual user number. So we're going to grab our label response and we're going to make it say your number is dot 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 prime, right? And the only other option is that it's not prime, right? So if I get to if the divisor equals the user number, it's prime. Otherwise, it's not prime. So at some point, something worked and we exited the loop. Um, so we're going to take LBL response, take the text property, and we're going to say your number is dot 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 not prime. Perfect. All right. I'm going to quickly run it. See it in action. Hopefully it works. 
Here it is. So let's test our famous number five. That's prime. Um, six is divisible by two, so we'd expect not prime. If I enter in one, it says please enter a number bigger than one, or if I start entering in negative numbers, it's gonna say that. Um, 71, just to pick a number, it's a prime number. I looked it up before. Um, but the number 70, it's divisible by two, so it's not prime. So it seems to work. Okay, thanks. Have a good one.